Yo, 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 what is up, everybody? Welcome to a brand new video here on the channel. Hope you guys are all having a very nice Tuesday. We made it through, no, we're not buying that, uh, made it through the Monday morning uh, and all that. And yeah, so let's go ahead and talk about Gnarleth and versus Gig. Um, it's, it's an interesting debate going on. A lot of people are like, you know, is, is Gig or is Narleth? Like, out of those two, which one is superior? Um, and I think there's a lot of different factors that you have to account for. Um, and I will say, again, as I say in a lot of my videos, um, this is just my opinion based on my experience in watching these dragons being flown. Um, I see that both of them have particular weaknesses. Now, I will say, for those who have got Narleth within the last two weeks, right, with the introduction of dungeons, all right, there has been a really, really critical glitch or bug where towers start super shotting before you actually turn. So if there's a storm tower, if there is an earth flak, you're basically screwed over if you use Narleth because those shields are up before Narleth can even get his shot off for most people. Now, there's ways to combat that, like shooting it super duper early, but even then, sometimes you can't even do it fast enough, depending on the placement of the earth and storm tower. So that really basically screwed over Narleth completely. Um, now, I'm not an amazing flyer with him. Okay, I don't know what in the world's going on in that Gota. And, uh, okay, all right. You know what? We're going to, you know, you know, there's dragon orgies, I guess. Okay. Um, you know, I, even I, like, and I'm not saying I'm a great flyer or anything, but, you know, I'm able to take on some decent bases. But even recently, man, it's been really difficult to use Narleth. So it's not really a fair representation of his abilities, I'm really hoping PG fixes that ASAP because that's critical in Atlas. Um, but anyways, so let's just let's just say um, I'll just start with this: is that you know again, this is my opinions based on what I've seen, um, and I think Narleth has more potential in the long run, like a one shot death gaze spell, right, and a way to cloak, kind of back to back is pretty significant, and I think he's going to be usable for a little bit longer than Gig. So if you're at end tiers, you know, Narleth may actually be viable even when 95s come out. Maybe not a solo dragon, but maybe a cleanup, you know? Uh, I, I don't think Marlis, the uh, the new dragon that has, like, uh, sand and everything, is actually going to be viable. But, you know, maybe there's a combination between Marlis and... Uh, Narleth, that may be really good or something. I don't know. Um, but I think Narleth has more potential as far as usability and viability for upcoming tower levels. But, I will say Narleth is a little bit more tricky. And if you're not a very good hunter flyer and you're not able to fly dragons very well, um, or maybe you're just not like a top tier hunter flyer, or maybe you don't like flying hunters, um, I, I don't think Narleth is a dragon for you, to be quite honest. Um, he is very, very difficult. I don't want to say difficult, but he's very mechanical in the way that he flies. Meaning that if you make one freaking mistake, he just dies, man. He's a hunter. He doesn't have a whole lot of HP, unfortunately. So if you have a you know storm tower that goes off too quick, or if you miss the red mage, I, I keep doing that for some reason, um, and you're not able to use the whispers of madness, and you have like a red mage or a blue mage up front that is able to like, hit you, or like two you know a dark flak, a fire flak, or maybe a dark flak and an ice flak that still is able to hit you, you you die. I mean, he is very, very difficult to mess up with. Gig, on the other hand, like most warriors, is not, you know, is not as easy to kill. He He's a tank. Really, he is. Um, especially with this spell right here that debuffs nearby towers. Uh, they deal reduced damage, meaning that he survives for a long freaking time, as well as he has his elemental resist. So, it actually makes it to where he's able to survive. Now, the only issue arises is whenever he gets rage strained. Because if you can't use his evil eye, which massively increases breath damage and reduces incoming damage, um, he he doesn't he's unable to kill towers really, except for whenever he uses a cosmic gaze. So, really, in my opinion, he starts struggling a lot whenever you reach like a middle island like mine, where you have some high, high uh, damage dealing towers in the back. Like, for example, my, my lightning towers are fairly strong. Like, that honestly kills more dragons than these towers do. Like, in all honesty. Um, though these towers kill plenty, but this one in particular is fairly significant. Uh, because they just deal so much damage at higher levels. Because they grow exponentially. Um, so, yeah. I mean, in my opinion, I think for most players, Gig may actually be the better option. Um, you know, I generally tend to say Hunters, but... 
with whenever you have a hunter like this where it's very tricky to fly, um, you know, if you are a really good hunter flyer, I will say, in my opinion, again, I think Nautilus is better. I think he has more potential and can do better against defended bases and wars and stuff like that, assuming you have good gear. But if, you know, you're not among the top flyers or uh, maybe you don't enjoy flying hunters, then Gig is going to be the better option. If you're a lower level, I know Gig will be viable. Um, as you start going up in levels, you tend to see bases with really good defense gear um, and better built. And that's when warriors start to struggle a little bit. Um, I have seen a gig get through my base, defended with me, like me defending hard. So I, I know both of them can take out, you know, max gear. I'm about to have my second mythic, well, my first mythic set maxed out, and I'm excited for that, and that will actually take the place of my leg or my mythic, or my elite, can I talk properly? My elite set. So I've, I've had win for the longest freaking time, but I actually get to change it out for uh for fire so i'm looking i'm looking forward to that should be buffing up my defense a little bit here soon um but yeah so anyways that is my opinion take it for what it's worth if you have any other questions pm me in game my in-game name is odin um and i will try to do my best to answer as many of them as i can i know i'm not always the best but i try um i, I tend to get quite a few throughout the day and sometimes i get I get busy with uh, leadership stuff and politics and uh, attacks on my, on my castles. So, um, yeah, if you if you want to message me in game, feel free to do so, and I will do my best to get to you. And hopefully, you guys enjoyed or found it useful. If you did, leave a like down below, comment, subscribe, do whatever you feel like is suitable, and I will see you fellows in the next video. Peace out, guys.